that that the marginalized are actually arguably being even more marginalized as a result of of these technologies that that you know no doubt have several benefits as well so i i don't think i have come up with any answers or anything i think these topics are you know to repeat that cliche way over my pay grade but i've been a journalist and my job's to ask questions and you know these are questions that i think you know, are sort of deserve answers but nobody really wants to answer them right or we don't have the answers to them so i'll i'll leave it there it's a bit of a downer it's not 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 a note no. of optimism it, it, but it i'm not really yeah. yeah yeah thanks sir i i i think i want to come back to 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 thank you for all your the views come back to the key issue that we talking about listening to the marginalized yes i think we 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 know the the the, the impact or the impact investing um esg and all that but listening to the marginalized over the last two years has the pandemic enabled us to be able to see more of the marginalized listen to more of the marginalized hear about the marginalized more it seems to be because the world has gone into um, retreat itself to its rooms and houses and suddenly the 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 alternative media has become such a powerful weapon or a tool or an enabler depending how you look at it it is it is uh, it, it has a, it has actually allowed uh, my view um, better access for the marginalized to put their views across put their situation across put their 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 needs across and i think it it is starting to glare in a lot of you see it's about the average community that chooses to ignore the marginalized or it's not the the the, the rich 5% it's the middle income people the minute the middle income people do not the middle gap do not recognize the marginalized situation is very hard to reach them. but the pandemic in my view has forced the the middle level to open their eyes and say hey and i i see that in malaysia where where we <coughs> uh, because of uh, various initiatives where people were suffering uh, people came up in droves and came up with platforms came up with uh, i- including um, uh, channels to say hey there's a family suffering here people stepped up say my neighbor is suffering can you help and it's not the rich companies or because they have done their part but it's reaching out quickly efficiently within the community and i think that the technology is enabling it and that that uh, i see a significant and drastic change in the last two years in communities that we live in i think that's an enabler i think twitter facebook yes we have a lot of issues about it, but that has given a a, a a tool and access to to marginalized and i think no. that's yeah and i we are seeing the things like oh uh, we're getting fatigued by you know people in trouble because of, but hey i think that it is it is important for us to keep pushing is important to have platforms that are enabling this and that uh, is good to see that there are many um, um new enablers that we are coming across to make sure that we reach across the platform so i open the discussion now to anybody who wants to come in and add on uh please Please, yeah. It looks like Harano has been waiting to to say something. Yes. Yeah. Harano san, it's up to you. Ana, he's saying hi. Um, anybody else want to give, give it a go? Any any views on this? I I thought all of the views. Um, Harano, are you there? Okay. Well, I I I thought that that I mean. a couple of things one one you know as you were talking about uh, migrants immigrants refugees exiles etc cetera, etc cetera. i mean i've spent a big part of my life um working with the, with those communities and and it's interesting because you know i i'm in new york and new york is where everybody wants to be and and it's it's so much because of this statement that is you know in the new york harbor that says give me your tired your poor your huddled masses yearning to breathe free the wretched refuse of your teeming shore and that to me is such a hippocratic um, a, a hypocritical statement when i hear the stories and narratives of people coming into this country there are people whose narratives 
about what it means to be in America and to pursue the American dream are only half truths because they talk about if they have an opportunity to win, they talk about the win, but they often don't talk about the struggles and they certainly don't talk about the ways in which in spite of their desire and their talent, they are still marginalized. Um, you know, even the whole process of being or becoming American, it shouldn't involve you losing who you were before you came here. You know, minimizing your accent, having to change your religion. My goodness, change, that whole statement that sits at the foot of the Statue of Liberty happened to people whose names were changed, right? Oh, you know, by the time you got here, no, you're Joe now. <laughs> and And so we have to really allow ourselves to listen. If we want to start listening to the marginalized, then stop trying to change the story that the marginalized have. Dig deeper into their stories and understand the things that make us uncomfortable about the truth of their experiences. Uh, that, that, and, and technology only moves us further and further away from that, right? Because in the metaverse, we can all just be avatars. We get to be whoever we want to be. And that is problematic from the vantage point of what we're talking about. Yeah, that, that, that's fantastic. I, I think it uh, um, gives a good perspective as well and a balance on, on, on how the, you know, um, the digital world is now marginalizing, continuing the process of marginalization. Yeah, uh, Hiranos, you wanted to have the mic. I don't know if he's still there. I yeah, yeah he, he went, yeah. I'm giving him the mic. Okay, here okay, I know the great. mic is yours. You know, son? Oh, sorry. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> we marginalized uh, you. Finally, you I'm back. <laughs> 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 sorry, I couldn't uh, hear you. Each of speaks. So, <coughs> now yes, no, I, I have no idea So what I... <laughs> I, I can tell I'll you. just add to the two things that we are working. Uh, I'm part of the institutions that 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 promoting uh, the women enterprise, the women women contributions uh, in the New York City in the U.S. Uh, when you look at the overall the women workforce, it's fifty percent of the global population, but they are probably ten to twelve percent of the employment. They come into the employment. Uh, so part of the the U.S. in the the women forum that I'm I'm, I'm contributing, we 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 promote fifty percent of the women on the corporate boards. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the keys where you need to change the narrative about how the woman needs to not just the CEO roles, but if you have eleven or twelve board members, you need to be more than fifty percent of the women on the corporate boards. So oh, yeah. last month we. The first meeting in the New York City during the pandemic, we met over 350 women executives, the C-suite, celebrating about the companies uh, who was promoting that idea of women on the corporate board. Mm -hmm. And and, and uh, I'm so humbled, part of the institution that Asian American Business Association, I was I was honored and humbled for outstanding 50 Asian American Business Leadership Award this year where in the last 20 years, how the Asian community has been developing and promoting this idea of uh, gender parity and, and uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Uh, it, it's, you know, there's a long way. The path is pretty long, but we are, you know, uh, slowly closing the gap, I believe. But again, if you look at the global population, uh, the poverty, I think there's more needs to be done there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's my thing. Uh, so, I I think the uh, Asian issue is uh, different from the U.S. issue. So I think so in Asia. So there are several so uh, uh, religion and uh, types of people. Also uh, very uh, big diversity. I think so. Uh, and uh, in Japan especially. So uh, it's very. There is a very unique culture and a uh, uh, unique uh, way of thinking. So uh, it's in terms of the uh, woman, uh, it's very hard to 
uh, promote the women in the business world. And uh, as I said before, so uh, 58% is uh, uh, single uh, mother. So working, it's a very bad rate and it's very worst rate in the uh, uh, in the world, I think. Gentlemen, so, we have got very few few so, minutes left, so maybe maybe okay. we can wrap it so, up. Okay, so oh, the key issue is how how to uh, overcome the uh, this uh, the cultural gap or cultural issues. Yeah. So I I like to get the the idea from you guys. Any I think we need to take this. Uh, this this is a topic by itself, uh, you know, because. Uh, Japan badly needs to allow, uh, my opinion, uh, migration. And, you know, cultural diversity, mm. nothing can be more diverse than the United States of America or mm. India. And, mm. you know, they, you know, freedom of movement, they, because the country needs it. So, I mean, the diet. So, sorry, uh, that's a, a separate topic. All the time. Last few words, gentlemen, because we've got about a few more minutes left. If anybody wants to add on, uh, please jump in. Because I don't think we have any solutions to recommend here, except that keep keep... Uh, having enabling platforms that's 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 i can see where we can go i mean yeah i just want to say that you know i think at, at at a couple of levels right at a community level at an individual level we can be more conscious of what we are doing and i think our actions can be dictated by more empathy more than anything else you know it's not always about beating the rest and you can all sure you can still want to beat the rest and do the best for yourself without having to feel the need to to quite literally trample upon somebody else, right? And and we see that. And we it's sad because in in the developing world we see that very often because it is such a rat race. A part of it also stems from the fact that governments have not been able to and they have their hands tied, right? It's not it's not for lack of trying. In many instances, governments have their hands tied because, and they're not able to provide you know, education to the level desired or, you know, basic amenities. As a result of which, it's just such a rat race wherein, you know, it's... So I just think that empathy has a big role to play. And and I just think that at a, at a national level, I feel that that governments or at a global level that that it needs to be more a part of the conversation that governments have, you know. So we may have a G20 or whatever. I don't know how often the word marginalized even appears at these, you know, mega events and things like that, right? Sure, it's about the economy and it's about climate and, and climate change is a huge issue. Of course it is. But but is marginalization not? I don't know. So I, I think it goes beyond finding solutions. I think it goes to even acknowledging how huge a challenge or problem it is, which I don't think we do enough. Uh, Naga, I think we are, we are down to a last two, three minutes. If you want to round up some, some thoughts. Yeah, sure. That. From the business point of view, what I see is happening, uh, some of the performance um, related, the what do you call the social performance matrix uh, are incorporated using the AI and the digital platforms. Uh, that's the one. And uh, the board's accountability needs to be mandated, uh, if not the potential liability of those boards and the companies. And, and also the companies, uh, when they disclose, the disclosure requirements need to say uh, where their suppliers and the procurement process are coming up, which country. Uh, so there's, there's a few of those mechanisms can be incorporated to see uh, and also discourage those organization institutions uh, exploiting the human capital and from um, Firano's point of view, how to build the cultural capital, um, even though it's an intangible asset, but reskilling the you know, workforce as well as you know, becoming more socially responsible, uh, purpose-driven organization. So that's my view. Thank yeah. you. I think, I think one of the key things we all are emerging is about culture. The culture of uh, accepting that, that, that marginalization is in your society. The culture of education, educating in education, that we need to, we need to inculcate the fact that 
these are wrong. These are the rights and wrongs about uh, society and what we do. How, because you take for example, history books do not talk about the marginalization yes. of a community. So until you start talking about it at schools, culture will not change. The, 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 until you accept, uh, 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 accept it, it's not going to. It's not going to happen. So our session has actually come to an end. Uh, coming to an end, but we, we we can continue. But so coming back to the, it starts at the root, at the very basic of the the culture, the values that we want to have, the values that we can explore. And yes, um, uh, digitization has helped, internet has helped. But as as Sidat said, you got to go back to the fact that what the question every day is to say, what is the impact of what I do on on the marginalized? Uh, of course, we all do to have to work to make the, the, the money for the, the wherever we work for all this the system. But what is the impact on the marginalized? If, if we start with, for example, the rubber glove we buy, right? I mean, it's not good for my, our economy, but it is a terrible conditions there. Work. And thankfully, because of the pandemic, so much of uh, focus on that. But they're all foreign workers. 95% of them are from Bangladesh or, or Indonesia. But because of that, they got better housing, better... And it is real. It is real. And this is a, it's a boom industry during the pandemic. So the, the same goes now today on, on medical services. Marginalization of people on medical services is something... Um, the, the, the floor was broken and medical services was extended as much as possible. It was... Five star hospitals had to open up to everybody, you know. So, uh, some things of the pandemic has made you, you can't continue. Society can't continue uh, to, 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 to uh, ignore. So, educate, culture, implement some of the things that maybe we all can agree on, you know. Um, so. I'm not sure whether our session is over, but I think uh, the, the time is up. Do you all get any indicators? Yeah, it said that it was finished, but no, I think it's in your time. Is up. So we we yeah. got time. You know, if you all want to chat a bit more, please do. You know, uh, uh, we we we. Uh, but I thank you all. Thank you all for your time thank and you. session today. And um, I hope we can keep in touch and see what we all can do together. Thank you. Thank you. One thing we can do is, uh, uh, Katsuna, you want to post this on the LinkedIn with uh, take the screenshot of the picture and uh, yeah, control, me, control friends. Let me uh, let me do a group with a fee uh, here. I think I'm going to start the group fee. Can everybody? Okay, everybody takes a selfie now. Oh, okay. And, and that, Okay, take and 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 the one that you like, just post it and then it will come up and I, I will share with you all by mail and then you can post it on LinkedIn. It's your choice which photograph you want to grab. Everybody's done? Yep. Yes. Okay, guys. Uh, I'll try to... Uh, let's see now. Yeah. Uh, is rendering the final photograph. I think you all got the photos, yeah? Yes. Oh, okay. Very yeah, nice. happy with it? Yeah. Yes. All right, then. Okay, great. Gentlemen, thank you very much for a wonderful session. Uh, thank you so much. Let's keep in touch. Um, Absolutely. And, and have a good day, gentlemen. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Great, thanks.